Uh, I thought Bethune Cookman came out and really played well. They were hungry. They uh, uh, they really played with a lot of passion. I thought they were the aggressive team tonight, uh, and consequently, uh, I think the results speak for itself. Uh, they came ready for a fight, and we just couldn't match that intensity. We didn't match that intensity. Um, for us, you can hold a team to 42 percent. You feel like you got a chance to win that basketball game, but we didn't score enough punch to be able to win. But take your head off to them. They did a terrific job today, and uh, uh, we got to somehow find a way to recover and uh, get better from this game. Questions? Yeah, Coach. Um, I, you guys are playing from behind the whole the whole night. I mean, yep. Obviously, that makes it difficult. But you guys did have your spurts there in the second half. Really, at the end of the first half, you guys pulled it within two. What did you guys see as the biggest difference is why you were able to play that gap? I mean, you know, our whole game plan um, from the start was just be aggressive. And for whatever reason, we weren't as aggressive as, as, as we normally are. And uh, I just thought guys was – they weren't taking advantage of the, the, the offensive opportunities that we had. and But we got back in the game, and, and then uh, Bethune responded. They did what they were supposed to do. Um, they made they, they took our run, and then they had a run on, of their own. And uh, uh, that's, that's a, a lot of credit goes to their coach and their basketball team um, for standing up and being accounted for and, uh, you know, showing some, some, some resistance as it relates to us. We came back, and they, they manned up, and they uh, extended the lead. Yeah, Coach, I was going to ask about the student. Obviously, you've seen them for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys beat them last year, and obviously they're, they're in the middle of a turnaround this year. What did you see as the biggest difference from them from the year ago? I think they're, um, they're athletic, uh, and, you know, they believe. You know, I think it's probably a different ball game. They came here two and two. You know, they, they, they won – the, the, the last what four or five games, five in a row, and uh, so they, they 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 came in with a little bravado, and I thought we were the same. We just won two in a row. I thought we we would be the same way, but uh, they initiated the fight, and uh, we were always retaliating the whole game, and so we were. We had to throw a counter punch, and they were throwing punches the whole entire game. And so you can't allow a team to be able to do that. You got to throw some punches too, and 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 put them back on their heels and, and make some plays. And we just didn't do enough of that today. I think uh, Goodman finished with seven. Yep. Team high for you guys. That's two really good games in a row for for him. What did you see the biggest difference? Uh, he's stepping up, making shots, and uh, he's getting more confidence. I thought he went to the glass a little bit well, even though he has three rebounds. Uh, but he's just stepping up, making the shots that we knew he could make uh, uh, when we first got him. So uh, it's good to see him playing well. But the guys that got to step up, like I told our guys in the locker room, the seniors got to step up. I didn't think Devine particularly played his, his very best. Angel, Luke, and BJ. BJ scored a lot of his points at the very end of the game, but they were non existent. And uh, in order for us to be a good basketball team, those guys have to play well. Have to play well. And last, for me at least, um, you guys obviously start. Stretch run now. Yeah. How do you turn this around, and, and what is your message to them going? You know, with everything still in front of you. Well, I mean, you just gotta you gotta find a way to get over this, and uh, we'll look at the film. Uh, we'll get better as a team, and uh, but you gotta find a way to move move forward. Our goal still is to win the conference, and we gotta find a way to do that. Even though this is a, a bump in the road, we gotta find a way to get over that, get our minds back right, and get refocused. And I thought we did a good job of that after we got uh, beat by Florida Gulf Coast. We came back, we got our minds right, and we certainly gotta do that after this game. Um, so uh, uh, the games don't stop coming. We gotta just be ready for those games. You guys came in, and both you and Bethune Cookman came in, and, and whoever won was gonna match their win total. Yeah, Both yeah. teams obviously have a bit of a turnaround from a year ago. Uh, we know what's happened at Bethune. And right. I know it's kind of hard to because you guys just lost. But mm -hmm. what has been the biggest difference this year for you guys now that you're one win away from matching that window from a year ago? Well, they're playing together. They are playing together. This is disappointing, but they've been playing together. They, they fought. They battled. Um, uh, they, they like each other. And uh, – you know they really want to win, and sometimes as a coach, you come back, you're disappointed, loss here on your at your at your place, you're disappointed. But uh, when you look at the big picture, those guys like each other, and I think uh, as disappointing as this is, uh, hopefully we'll have something to make us smile as we continue to play along the way.